Hey guys, here we got an interesting gameplay in which one of my teammates is going to take maximum advantage of all the big plays I'll be making throughout the game. By that, I mean that he will have the utmost confidence that his teammate will be able to turn the tide so that he can continue pushing without worrying that the opponents will be able to push all the way. There will be a lot of instances where we are going to be losing the team fights at first but we somehow managed to overturn the table with some big plays. Anyway, Aurora just recently got her Zodiac skin revamped, so I decided to pick her in this match. Right from the start, we got ourselves an intense match to see who gets the last turret skin transformation. My turret. Angela wanted to use her unsophisticated turret skin but that shall not be allowed when Aurora is using this royal skin. It's always a good idea to destroy Sad spawn because it gives tons of experience. Pay attention to how much experience I will gain from this. Absolutely yummy. I want more of that free juicy experience. This sass is extremely kind. Always try to get her passive before joining a fight. Probably their jungler would take this cold crap next, so I will wait here. If our Leomer was next to me, I would have gone for the kill instead, but he was pretty low, so that's understandable. While clearing these minions, I am still paying attention to the map and I can see who has low HP. With good map awareness, you will improve your gameplay exponentially. This is actually a very poor engagement because we are letting them get the turtle for free here. But no more choice since we gotta follow our jungler here.
Oof, just one more hit. But anyway, this completely swung the pendulum to the other side. Now they're in the driver's seat. It's not a bad idea to give some advice when there's something that can be improved. Looking at the map, I thought there was a very good chance Granny would come mid next to farm the minion wave. I wanted Granger, but still getting stats there was nice. It was a shutdown kill. Lapu becomes immune to CC when he is casting his ult, so I will wait until it's over before unleashing all these skills. It's important to learn all the mechanics of all heroes, so you will know how to play against them efficiently. I am not saying that you need to master every single one of them, but at least know how all their skills work, which honestly doesn't take that long. Just a couple of matches with them and that should do it. Their Granger is very fed at this point. If I can get him here, that will give us a huge boost. Of course I intentionally went for the Lapu first, so our Thamus can then finish Granger. Yep. Their jungler is up so there's a good chance he will come for his orange buff next. The more you play, the more experience you gain and you will be able to start learning patterns that most players do. Try to use the information in your favor and set up plays accordingly. Sometimes, complimenting your teammates when they do something good may boost the morale of the team. Trying to prioritize their main damage dealers first. Let's get into a better position and see if we can catch one of them off guard. Removing the ADC first will dramatically increase your chance of winning the team fights. A lot of times, you will find blamers when your team is losing, and oftentimes they themselves are not performing that well either. Don't be this kind of player if you want to have a hard chance at making a comeback. He'd be the brightest star among all constellations. This is another terrible engagement. There's no need to go towards them when we have already set up an ambush on the opposite side. Just let them come to us instead of going to them. Leoma is trying to put the blame on our marksmen, 
but actually he was on the bottom side the whole time, so he didn't do anything wrong. In fact, he's actually making the right play by continuously pushing when it seemed like we lost the initiative. Somehow we managed to overturn the horrible fight into our favor. I managed to get a triple kill and our marksman got two turrets in the bottom lane. This was a very forced lord, probably shouldn't have started so early. They managed to get the lord and we are starting to fall apart. This might be the comeback they are looking for. A lot of inexperienced players just seems to have a hard time controlling their urge to charge straight, even when the situation is clearly not in their favor. When the game has reached the very late stage of the game, you must remain even more calm, focused, and take only good engagement if possible, because one single mistake can mean victory or defeat. I don't have information where the opponents are, so there is a high chance that going straight for Granger here might be a trap. You can see how I'm being cautious here. Slow sign. That means Lolita is casting her ult. We should continue fighting them, because our marksman is placed pushing bottom. Broly took maximum advantage of our constant distraction and how we managed to keep overturning the table, despite losing most of our members at the start of the team fight. Most of the time, to successfully split push all the way, you must first create an opportunity that will allow your teammate to do so. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it. See you in the next video.